I was made for this. I was born for this. I will teach them. I'll help them learn. Okay. <laughs> so, what are the differences between a Gantt chart and a timeline? If you're a project manager, chances are you might be familiar with both. However, since they are fairly similar, they can often be mistaken for one another. Kind of like how people confuse tortoises and turtles, or coincidence and irony, or long johns and long john silvers. Sometimes I like to wear my long johns in a long john silvers. The main difference between a timeline and a Gantt chart is that a timeline contains events visualized on a single line, while a Gantt chart, on the other hand, is a two-dimensional chart displaying a sequence of tasks and their dependencies. In this video, we're going to cover what a Gantt chart and timeline are and show you how these tools can improve your company's project management processes. Let's get started. First off, what is a Gantt chart? A Gantt chart is a graphical representation of your project's progress over time. It gives you a clear overview of the entire project schedule, time estimates, assigned team members, task priorities, and task dependencies. It is a powerful analytical tool that offers you a bird's eye view of your entire project. Now you might be saying to yourself, that's all fine and well, but what makes them the cat's pajamas? In just one glimpse, you're able to view each task's progress, project completion rate, schedule, progress percentage, and more. They also help in understanding your project schedule. With a Gantt chart, you can easily find openings in your project schedule for additional work. It can also provide you with the time estimates for multiple tasks. For example, let's say you're falling behind on your project and in order to meet your deadlines, you'll need to manually reschedule your tasks. A Gantt chart simplifies this by automatically rescheduling your tasks when you make adjustments to your project schedule. This way, you'll never lose sight of your project deadline. And finally, a Gantt chart clearly maps out task dependencies. Now, task dependencies, or dependent tasks, are items that you can start only after a preceding task has been completed. So like, brushing your teeth in the mornings is dependent on you first, drinking your orange juice. Because why would anyone do it the other way? A Gantt chart maps out every individual task and its dependencies. This way, your team knows exactly how their work impacts other team members. Now, let's go ahead and table Gantt charts for a quick minute, and let's talk about project timelines. A project timeline is not only simple and easy to use, but it also helps project managers easily keep track of important upcoming dates and deadlines. Just like with a Gantt chart, there are key benefits to using a project timeline. Per example, with a project timeline, you can quickly see what's coming up next. The timeline contains a task list of all the upcoming tasks and important events. This way, your project team can prepare for what's coming up. A project timeline also gives you the room to map out important milestones within your project. Milestones play a big role in helping you track project progress, maintain your stakeholders' confidence, and have a clear map of the deliverables. And finally, a timeline gives you a quick overview of the project. Project managers don't want to spend hours looking at charts just to get an overview of the situation. With an actual timeline, they get a bird's eye view of the entire project without going into the specifics. I think you mean specifics. What did I say? So we've covered the differences between a Gantt chart and a timeline, but maybe you're still asking yourself, which one should I use? Simply put, both are great options depending on your specific use case. I mean specific use case. If you want a view of what's to come, use a timeline. If you want a comprehensive look at your project's progress, use a Gantt chart. And luckily with ClickUp, you can get the best of both worlds. But let us know in the comments below what you prefer. Are you team Gantt chart or are you team timeline till the end of time? Until next time, stay productive out there. Cut. So what was the difference between Pacific and Pacific? What was I saying?